a lot of people say, man, you know, I really, I really want a straight, straight A's in uh, A and P, but they're not willing to sacrifice like they, like they need to, like it is necessary. Nurse Bass Rocks. What's going on guys, it's your boy Brad and I'm back with another video. Before I get into this one, as always, be sure to subscribe down below. I'm putting out educational videos, any kind of helpful content that I can to help you guys succeed. What I want to talk about in this video is how to study anatomy and physiology. I've gotten this question a lot in the past because for those of you who may be new to the channel, this may be your first time seeing a video of mine. Um, I've taken anatomy and physiology one and two, and I'm currently in nursing school in AMP one and AMP two, both of them. I got A's. I literally got straight A's on every single assignment, uh, as far as exams and quizzes go. So I wanted to make this video to help you guys get straight A's also, because it's a very important class and I've been highly requested. So let's get into the video. So what I want to do is I want to give you three tips, three tips to straight A's. Okay. Follow these tips, people, and you will 100% get straight A's. Stay tuned to the end of the video because tip number three is the most important one. All right, so tip number one, most instructors provide you with either PowerPoints or they'll provide you with a Word document template that you can fill in as you go along to basically be your notes. All right, but most instructors provide you with PowerPoints. Very important that you study those PowerPoints extremely diligently. Whenever I was taking anatomy and physiology, some of these PowerPoints, most times it would be four chapters per exam and it's the entire chapter. And some of these PowerPoint um, files could be two to 300 slides long. I would literally go through the PowerPoints and I would be able to, I don't wanna say memorize, but I would have that information extremely down pat. You have to take very good notes from these PowerPoints, but definitely use the PowerPoints, use the resources, the Word document templates that your instructors provide you as your primary source of study. It is extremely important that you study in this manner. Additionally, and this is also very key, whenever you're studying these topics from these PowerPoints that your instructor gives you, let's say that you're studying the respiratory system, right? What you want to do is you want to study the respiratory system, right? Let's say that you're studying the anatomy of it. Okay. We're talking about the lungs, the, uh, you know, the two lungs, the, the different lobes of the lungs, the different structures, how the trachea, you know, and you branch off into the bronchi and into the bronchioles. You're studying all of that, right? Before you proceed to a new topic, you need to review what you just studied. Very important. I call it constant review. Okay. You study something, don't study it one time and then move on to the next topic. Because whenever you do things in that manner, you can easily forget very easily what you just learned. You need to study it and then review it and maybe even review it again. So that constant review is very important, but yes, tip number one, those PowerPoints, those word document templates, whatever your instructor provides for you, stay buried in those and use that as your primary source of study material. Tip number two, is going to be your textbook. Okay. Your textbook. Here's how I studied. Okay. I used the PowerPoints and the word document templates as my primary, my primary source, the textbook. I hardly touched at all. Okay. Here's what I use the textbook for. I use the textbook solely for the diagrams for all of the wonderful illustrations that they provide very vibrant, colorful, descriptive, uh, just beautiful illustrations those were very key to my success. It's hard to read something uh, from a PowerPoint. It's hard to read something in your notes and visualize it. You need to supplement what you are studying from your notes with the diagrams that they are associated with. So if you're studying uh, muscle tissue, smooth muscle tissue or skeletal muscle tissue, you want to be able to look within uh, the textbook at a diagram of how this muscle is broken down because there are several layers and steps to this muscle going down to the cellular level that you need to know. And again, it's difficult to just grasp that from words, from text on a piece of paper. Um, having the diagrams, as I say, really makes the information more tangible. It's, it, it helps you get a better grasp on things. So definitely number two, the tip is to use those textbooks for the diagrams, the, the, uh, the drawings, the illustrations, it will very much so benefit you and help supplement the notes that you're going to be studying. And I told you to stay tuned to the end of the video for the third and final tip. This is the most important. So please take this to heart. If you get nothing else from this. A lot of people, I've talked to a lot of people, okay, um, a lot of people think that 
there's some secret sauce to success in anatomy and physiology. To be 100% honest with you, there is not, okay? Those two tips that I gave you beforehand are very key, but the secret sauce is simply doing the, putting the time in. Simply putting the time in, you have to, okay? I would literally study every day. I would know what I was gonna be learning about in class that day, so I would do a little review on the PowerPoints that I had already been provided before I go into class, so I know what the instructor's gonna be talking about. I would receive the lecture, okay? I would record the lecture also, only to listen to it later on if I needed help remembering something. And then I would go home and I would study. And you seriously just have to make the sacrifice. You have to make the sacrifice and seriously put in the time and be dedicated to your studies because anatomy and physiology, if you are wanting to be a nursing major, you want to, if you're pre-med, you want to go to medical school, sports medicine, whatever you want to do uh, in the medical field, in the healthcare field, a and P is the most vital class. Okay. And I know that I made the title of this video, three steps to straight A's and the straight A's are very nice. Don't get me wrong, but the more important piece to take away from this is the knowledge that you actually need to know that you actually need to know to carry forward with you. Whenever you do get into your graduate programs, whenever you get into your chosen field, uh, your chosen career field. So please, if you get nothing else from this video, that third tip, man, of just making the sacrifice and seriously just doing it. Okay. A lot of people say, man, you know, I really, I really want a straight, straight A's in uh, A and P, but they're not willing to sacrifice like they, like they need to, like it is necessary. So anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Three steps to straight A's, but more importantly for the retention of that knowledge, that is very important. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, be sure to subscribe. I'm putting out all kinds of educational material. I'm sure you can find something that you'll like. It's a nurse bath soon to be, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.